Hold on. This is really... Tighten this. Hey, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back in. We are picking right back up. I'm super excited for this episode. We are in the Sunless City. We finally figured out our way there. So we are gonna be diving into the anglerfish location and then be landing it for Bramble after. So we are finally headed to Bramble. I hope you guys enjoy this episode and I hope it has a ton of exciting things to it. So let's dive straight into it. What are we still doing in the intro? Come on. <laughs> It's a new day, or is it a new dawn? It's a new day, it's a new something, whatever. Let's go. Anglerfish, we're coming at you. We'll just do a recap real quick. Oh, we saw the probe jump off. So, popping into here real quick, guys. We actually are starting to get a lot more of this done. We are gonna need to do the lake bed cave at one point, but we are going all in on the anglerfish, baby. Let's get it. And we've got to do it fast as well. No time to have my suit on later. And launch. Hmm. There we go. Sun station. We could try to get on. Ah, uh, no. I guess we could try to see. Like, as soon as it becomes available, see if we can hop over to the sun station. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Rain it in. Oh, it's doing the mess up thing, guys. I can't lock onto it. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to freehand it. Go power on. All right, we're coming in. Gonna make this quick. Yeah, we can try to head over to the Sunless as soon as possible, right after we get the angler. So, we are coming in hot. We are coming in hot. Oh gosh, oh gosh. We're gonna fly straight past it. Hold on. Oh, hit something. No. No. Okay. Perfect. Oh, actually, really perfect. Hold on. We're gonna come up out of here. This is good. This is good. And we're gonna land right here. Boom. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. We have limited time to get to the anglerfish. And lunch. I'm so glad we found this out. Oh, I need to remember the uh, spiky things. Spiky spikies. So we can go this way. We can't deal with the ghost matter yet, but we have to be careful of spikies. Oh, launch, 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 launch. Whoa. <laughs> Same. All right, bring it up and over. Here we go. All right, so we need to launch the scout first. We need to remember where we need to... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light on in the whole place. Get some oxygen back. We're going fast mode on this. Bring everything alive. Mm -hmm. All right, the... Uh, the fish's mouth should be up here, I think. Let me see. Ah! <gasps> okay, hold on. See in my wow, anglerfish fossil. I don't think we've ever seen that it naturally floats back together. So we need to send this into the mouth. But then they said it would light the way. Okay, into the mouth. So we're in the mouth. There, the belly. However, I forget where they said the entrance from there would be. Is it down here? No, silly. Or, wait, did we come from here? Oh, I can't. Hmm. There's a side way to get there. It would have to be on a similar, like what if it's, it's gotta be through here, right? I guess I didn't really think about this. I didn't think this through. 40 meters that away. Maybe it's further down. Hmm, we're getting further away from the scout. No. Further away from scout. Those kids had said there was a route through 
where all right well it's probably not all the way down here right because all the way down was the energy lab but maybe it's over through here this could be promising no this just takes us into wait actually hold on no 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 this is good does this just take us back up to <gasps> look Levi we're meeting the fossil cave okay right 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 we saw this stepping stone cave go to stepping stone cave then up into the fossil stepping stone cave stepping stone cave is probably at the bottom I'm assuming what is this <gasps> uh okay stepping stone cave it's probably all the way at the bottom somewhere what does this say stepping stone cave Okay, let's just hope we did it in time. It's filling up fast. Oh yeah. This is all new to us as well, right? Oh my goodness. It is dark down here, guys. It's up. It would be up above. It's gotta be over there. There's energy going there. Hmm. I would say we probably have to head over here and then this will take us up into it, I think. Yes. And we're kind of getting further away from the scout. Should we go up even further? Maybe. This is that fast path. But we have to head this way. This looks like a stepping stone cave. Right? Or am I going backwards? Hmm. It's up there. And if it's up there, there's got to be a way up into it jump up here right I see its mouth oh snap oh snap oh snap oh snap okay how do the kids get up here I got my fuel back three minutes of oxygen left tell me your secrets anglerfish whoever was it when we ended last time is the anglerfish Rule change, the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against the wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across to the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. Last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold and becomes the little fish. Why are we changing it? It's too hard to see anything. Aunt Pie says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Rule update. It's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it. The rest of us still wear it for scientific accuracy and make the game more fun. So that's it. There's something up there too at the top of that. That's the secret to it, is that they can't see. They're blind. So we just have to... Also, I'm gonna stand on your little... Ah! <laughs> Hold on. Launch me. Oh, 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 oh. See, I need to get up there, but I don't think I can go all the way up there. I just need to do a little bit. No. I know, I'm running out of oxygen. Here we go. Okay, don't move. There we go. Ah, s Okay. Um, this must get us to the outside somehow. Is this at the base of the cavern, maybe? Anglerfish study, Malore. The long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent, you know. Perhaps it has used this growth to attract prey as a lure. An update, Malore. While I was here making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They've added a rule to their game to incorporate our research. It's wonderful. 
The anglerfish's digestive tract suggests death by starvation. Visually, the specimen appears to be of the same species as the anglerfish in Dark Bramble. I'm not excited to go to Dark Bramble if there's more of those things. We don't believe it originated from this planet. I'm entirely delighted. It's never too early to appreciate biology. More ship log updated. Uh, that's it as far as this cave goes. What's out here? This just brought us out here. I don't think we've ever seen this side of things. Huh. All right, this is another new spot that I can use, kind of, maybe not. Let's go ahead and see if anglerfish is completely done for now. And then we're gonna head to, whoa! Oh. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Refuel and all that stuff, med up. Let's see if that finished the that strain. Yep, anglerfish fossil zooming in. No, my children used to play a game here. One player was the anglerfish and one wore a blindfold. The rest of the children, the little fish, lined up against a wall. When the anglerfish said go, the little fish had to sneak across to the other side. That's so reminiscent of like Red Rover, Red Rover or something. The blindfold rule was added because real anglerfish are blind. The adult Nomai were delighted to see the children incorporate their research into the game's rules. All right, going to map mode, go back on that. Entries, anglerfish fossil done. So we still have a little bit left in the Sunless City and Lake Bed Cave. And then Ember Twin will be mostly done. I'm gonna actually see if we can hop over and get to the Sun City or the Sun Station. But I need to find our partner. Where's our partner? There it is. Okay, so we're gonna wanna go up into it. Ready? I'm here. Going into it. So now what we are looking for is the sun one. And as soon as it becomes available for us to land, we're going to try to hop into it. So there, it should be on the other side of this. It might not. There. Is that the sun? Nope, that's the twins. That is the sun, which means it's probably too late. But I'm going to try. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. I know. I know. Actually, I'm going to have to wait for this to pass. It's probably too late. The sun would be the first one that becomes unearthed. So therefore we need to dedicate almost a whole separate day to landing on it in time, I think. But we'll see by how much. I still am not, I'm still not sure that we're not gonna have to use some kind of quantum capability here. All right, ready? Ow. Oh, patching suit. Oh, 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 patching suit, patching suit, patching suit. Vitals are so low that if I hit one more thing, I'm out. I'm dead. Yep. Ah. Oh, that's unfortunate. No. All right, that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to wait for the sun to completely be unearthed, and then we're going to try to beeline for it just so we can get there on time. So that's our priority with this day, is we're just going to stay on this planet until we can immediately get in there. There's more to uncover on the Sunless City as well, but I'm not quite sure what. Oh, we can explore that strain on the ship and see what it says. All right, we go again. I've got to be more careful with that. I normally don't get punctured in that first corridor. Normally it is until the back end that I do. Um, right, because we haven't gotten to the Ashwin project, but there's just more to explore. That's pretty much all it says. I'm ready. There they are. Again, not allowing me to zoom in on it. I might need to restart the game if it keeps up like this. Because this is going to be a pain in the butt. We're going to come up and over. If I don't get it successfully this time, then we'll just head over to Bramble. Now that we know the anglerfish are blind. But I think that's actually, is that not, that's realistic as well. So I wonder if you don't even have to find that fact 
to kind of be able to solve that portion if you already have some anglerfish knowledge. Like, I already knew a little bit about them, especially with them and how they trap their prey. I need to be careful. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> we stuck the landing. It might take us a second. Okay. Go ahead and repair. Sorry, baby. Repair. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> okay. It's a good thing it brought me back inside. That must be why the sun is the first thing to uncover, like the sun portion. It's because you only have like a very finite amount of time to get there. So, for the most part, we can just kind of relax and um, zoom across until we see it. All right, this is the trickle of it for right now. So we're just going to, whoa, we could go land on it. I could drop a scout and we could land on it. There are probably is more to discover there too. Mm. No, eye on the prize. I think we're getting to the point where there's not as much to uncover. Like there still is a fair amount, but at this point in time, we can kind of relax and just wait for certain moments. We're trying to get the final pieces together. Okay, let's just follow its path until we see the sun kind of be unearthed. And then I need to rotate myself so I fall directly into it. Here it is. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna sit right here and just wait. And while that's happening, I don't think this pauses. It might pause it. All right, probe tracking module. We're still figuring out that part. Ruptured core, there's still more there, but we can't do anything with that till ghost matter. Sunless city. Yeah, we'll have to figure out more with that. I wonder if there's something to be found about the lake bed cave. The, the quantum caves are linked to the lake bed cave. Is the ghost matter linked to the quantum caves? Or the quantum... No. Launch module. Where is... I guess we don't have anything for Bramble. Well, Bramble's down here. Right, escape pod 3 and vessel. Ugh. I'm all sniffles today. I don't know what's going on. It's the time of the season. I'm gonna wait just a little bit more. Let it pass one more time and then I think we'll be able to get into it. And hopefully we can hit this in time. Oh, it already passed. One more time. Actually, let's view map. I like that you can see in live time where the interloper is as well. So you can track when to land on it so you can get into that middle. Yeah, where it melts. That's such a cool part to it. That really is incredible. All right, Dark Bramble. Coming for you. The Hourglass Twins, you are here. All right, we're getting close to the sun. It's almost uncovered. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. I shouldn't get picked up in it. Oh, shoot. Wait. Oh, the other side. The back side. Back side. Back side. Back side. Back side. There it is. But it's coming back around. Am I going to get there in time? Oh, no. I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to have to wait. I can't do it. Ah! Okay, wait. It's okay. Ah! All right, back out of it. I see it. I see it. I know. I know. All right, let it pass. Let it pass. Should sweep it up in this part. Perfect. Okay, we're going to be getting here as fast as humanly possible, so let's just hope that I don't get punctured on the way. Let me in. Let me, oh, the sand would help with it too. 
Of course! This is how you're supposed to get through to begin with. You're never supposed to fly through. You're supposed to just naturally go through because of the... Can I crouch, by the way? Wow. Sometimes I wonder about myself. Sometimes. All right, look up. Oh, wait. Is it timed? Hold on. It's not going. Okay, just look. Just look. Look and hope. Because this is as fast as you could get here anyway, so we just have to hope for it. But the Nomai statue didn't lift up. Okay, come on. We're passing Bramble. Of course. I can't believe I never pieced that together. Ocean's deep. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Woo! Woo! We did it. The sun station. Oh my goodness. Y'all, we did it. How we're not roasty toasting, I have no idea. All right, let's read it. Uh, 281,042 years ago, no user commands received for 10 minutes, all systems entering sleep mode. Six minutes, 37 seconds ago, increased solar activity detected. Sun station hole integrity approaching critical levels, closing emergency doors. Nothing else. Opens emergency doors. I'm gonna roast. Stop. Oh, being so close to the sun is so unnerving. <sighs> Holy cow. More dead. Mission. Science compels us to explore the sun. Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in the view of a morbid mission statement. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progression. Or progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Here's a better one. Mission. Determine if it's impossible if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. Your lack of wait, you lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progression, so they did this. The reset every single day. This is them. It goes deeper. This is them and their desire to create a supernova? What's up here? Trees. This guy. This is one of the, um, this is where one of the stepping stones is. Isn't it? I think it is. We should find one of them around here, I think. The music got so intense here. Okay, you really have to do sticky feet. You really have to do sticky feet. Oh my gosh. The sun. Balancing the sun and the eye. Oh my goodness. The mission, it's mission impossible, right? Um, approximate time until sun station is destroyed by expanding star, two minutes, 56 seconds. Approximate time until star's death, 14 minutes, 26 seconds. Star has reached end of natural life cycle, now approaching red giant stage. Warning, evacuate sun station. So it went, oh, I see. I see. This is an Ash Twin projection stone. More knowledge. What happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired, Yarrow, but it failed. The sun barely responded. 
There were infinitesimally, infinitesimally small surface level changes, but they were barely visible even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never use the sun to explode, cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over, but I'm unsure how to start over. Pi, I hurt for you, my friends. We all know how hard you've worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is Idea? We're very well. We're well, Yellaro. Or as well as it can be expected given the circumstances. Though disappointed, I may have disagreed with the exploding the sun, but I never wished the device to fail. I'd hoped our terrible work was finished. Return to Ash Twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed a comet approaching this star system that we'd like to investigate. That's when they then went to the interloper. This came after. And this is the Ash Twin projection stone. Which is where? This won't show us where it is. This is, this must be what we see when we don't know where it is, right? Okay, the music is kind of wild. I think that's all we're going to find from the sun station. I also think we're going to get roasted here soon. I think that timeline is for us. We have 14 minutes till the other thing, but I think... Oh, shoot. Yeah, I think we're going to be melting here soon. There was nothing up top. We have to jump back. Oh, my goodness. The fact that this happens like this is... I, I just... I'm... Wow. Wow. Okay, let's get back as fast as we can. The fact that they could even create that to begin with. All right, I don't know where this one needs to go. Um If I had to guess, it's there was a there was a pool at one of these places, so I'm just going to place it on that, not that it's going to stay. Oh no. I think we have to go back to remembering that. Crap. I'm going to the other planet. Yeah. Well. There we go. <laughs> nice. My ship is on the other side. Take me up to the spirit in the sky. I need my ship or else I'm gonna die. Actually, my ship's here. My ship's here. <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't even realize my ship was in the line of sight for that. Okay, wow, what a discovery. Oh, two things back to back today. I'm getting chills. Sun station is, I think, complete. The sun station was designed to make the sun go supernova. The Nomai fired the sun station, fired the sun station, but it had no effect on the sun. They concluded that the sun station could never cause the sun to go supernova. After the failure of the sun station, the Nomai took a break to investigate the newly arrived comet, the interloper. According to the Nomai computer, our sun has reached the end of its natural life cycle. That is not good at all. That is not good. And it is done, too. That's all we need to know. We are done with the sun station. Kind of grateful for that at the same time. <sighs> Ash Twin project is still left, yeah. The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. The Nomai plan to construct technology capable of producing, right, interval on Ash Twin. We have to be able to get inside of there. The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off. <laughs> We need to get down to the lake bed cave as well. I feel like before we even go to Bramble, I need to get inside of that lake bed cave. We gotta do it. I'm gonna need to reset the day. Well, I might not have a choice. Oh. Oh. We might as well head over to Bramble with whatever we have left in this day. And then, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. We'll head back to Bramble with what's left of us for today, and then we will come back to try to get that lake bed and the project. All right, so biggest mysteries right now that we're trying to figure out. 
one of the pieces to the probe cannon is in fact, oh, I'm not gonna be able to, oh, you know what? I need to restart anyway so that I can actually lock on. So I'm gonna have to, yeah, let me just go ahead and restart and I'm gonna run to the bathroom too and we'll come back. And since I'm having to restart, we might just go to that cave bed anyway. But yeah, let me restart because I'm not able to lock on. Um, and you guys had told me that's actually like a common issue. So let me get that done and then we will be right back. Um, and yeah, so let's do a lake bed and then that way we can kind of close off the twins and then we'll go to Bramble. So yeah, I'll be right back. Hold on. I was thinking about this. I imagine that the most enjoyable way to watch <gasps> this would be to go through the same steps as the Nomai. And I think that's something where just in our own separate ways, and I'm sure some of you guys out there probably did that, like probably went exactly where we were supposed to go next. I mean, at the beginning, it kind of opens up and tells you a couple different places, but part of me wishes I had stuck more to the path of, okay, this is what we found. The Nomai went here, so follow that. Um, and just keep kind of going through their footsteps if you really wanted to learn as much as possible. But it just, it's so easy to want to take your own path, you know? All right, we're headed to Lake Bed Cave. So the backstory on Lake Bed Cave is we have, we've been here before. So we tried to make it into Lake Bed Cave and I just unfortunately, I, the sand rose. I didn't find my way out, but much like, there we go, now it's working. It's kind of much like, you guys remember how I was with the Sunless City. The first time I went there, I completely went a different direction and I missed getting into the city itself. And so I'm hoping that that's the same thing. One thing I learned from the, just like my time on the twins period is the sand is a major factor in both of these. And so not only is the time constricting, but you also have to, I'm staying here, right? Yeah. <clears throat> You also have to make sure that, oh, hold on. I would rather flop than, oh, yep, there it is. There it is. Wow, I've never seen the color right there of the ship. We're going to the lake bed real quick and we gotta go fast, but uh, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? We're looking for, where is it? I think it's over here. This is not the lake bed, but the lake bed should be on the other side of this. There he is. Okay, I'm gonna land right here and... Woo! I know, we're not doing so hot. Hey, man. All right, we're gonna let the ship just kind of hang out there because we need to get down there. It might already be too late. It m oh, 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 oh. It might already be too late. Oh my gosh. Oh, where am I? Am I inside the cave already? I think I fell into the cave. I think I did. Um, going through the sand, like going back through, double checking, going up. A big part was I think I missed some of the places up. And then also might not be such a bad thing for the sand to fill up because then we might find some new places. Like look, right here we're kind of blocked, but... Okay, wait. Maybe this isn't the right cave. And if it is the right, if it's the wrong cave, then I've already missed it. Look, I can't get through. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, there's no way to possibly get through. How does that make sense? This must not be the cave. Oh no, oh dear. Keep trying a different angle, no. Nothing up above? This must not be the cave. This must be like, wait, I'm still going for, no. This is the same place and I can't go through either of these ways. And when there's nothing up top here, just double checking here, there's nothing, wait! Oh no, I just kind of messed up there. The sand's filling. Oh no, I might have just gotten stuck. I might be stuck. Oh snap, okay. I might be stuck now. There's a fair chance that we are D-E-D -E -D dead. Yep, there it is, oh. We haven't had that death before. Ew, why is that one so brutal? Oh. <laughs> okay, so maybe that's the wrong cave. We gotta try again. That's brutal. Maybe there's a fake cave.
All right, that is definitely the one that I fell in last time. We just need to explore that lake bed a little bit more. Let's go prepared, have this on, get ready, launch me. You start to get a little, um, I don't know if am maybe antsy. I guess I would say antsy because you're like, oh, okay, I know what to do. I just need to find the right spot, right? Like, I just need to figure out how to conduct it. Oh. Autopilot this bad boy. We are coming in hot. I hope. Okay, we're firing retro rockets. Perfect. We're looking for that little stream of. All right, we're gonna be looking for. Uh, I'm going into this planet. There we go. Perfect. Okay, this is a great spot to be landing. We want to land right where he is. Ah! It'll buff out. All right, into the cave. All right, we know we need to go lower than this, so let's drop down even further. All right, so. Ah! All right, lights on, lights on, lights on. There's nothing down here. I mean, that appears to be the cave, right? That's like the only massive hole down here. Unless there's something on the other side. So I'm gonna try. There's nothing down here either. This is it. This is it. So what am I missing? It's just hard to see stuff here. There's nothing there. I'm probably gonna get squished again. These stupid things. Is this a path? No. I don't see, I mean, I think I'll have a little bit more time than I did last time, so. I'm back here again. Like, is the sand filling supposed to allow us to walk through one of these things, perhaps? That's the only thing I could possibly think of. Oh, wait a minute. Have I been here before? Okay, wait, we got through. Okay, this is promising. <gasps> this is promising. I didn't see that itty bitty spot before. But where do we go from here? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm assuming we need to go where the sand is coming from. So we need to get this back. Fuel up. But the sand's filling up here. I don't see anything up there. I'm assuming we need to land on this. We have to climb this. That's so what you have to do. Oh, this is horrifying. I'm gonna lose it, I'm gonna lose it. Get stuck right here. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Ah, oh, snap, I'm losing it, I'm losing it. Fall here. There we go. All right, let's look right there. This is awesome, we're doing it. Although my fuel is getting shot. Oh, do you think we go there or do we keep moving forward? No, because that sand stops there, so we have to move through here. This is good. This is good. This is going to push me down. And now I'm somewhere. <gasps> that disappeared. They move. That must have been why. Wait, we're in another one of those caves. That's what's happening here. <laughs> okay, now I'm locked in. But now I can go this way. So now we have to navigate through here. But we have to look away. Now look back. Oh my goodness. Now look away. Now look back. I'm just kind of moving upward and onward, I guess. This is one of those caves. This is where that kid got lost. Oh no. Trees to tell. Ah! Tree detected. Here we go. <gasps> the bodies. If you've come here to look for Coleus, this is where he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. 
Your strange wandering rock friend is here though, Coleus isn't. Coleus and I observed this unusual looking rock shard and several smaller rocks in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. What happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one, the wandering rock, I was taking notes and then my lantern died. When I lit it again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. He was standing on one of the big rocks. What is this? <gasps> the big rock scares me. Oh, that's the light. Hmm. Wait, that thing just moved. That thing, wait, that thing moves. Okay, well, it said he standed on the rock, so let's stand on the rock. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is a dead end, which means there is a way out because there's no way we can get back out without dying. So we need to follow what he says. Hold on. Coleus, this is where he vanished, which means that they don't know what happened to him either, and that's why they died out here. So this is a dead end. Your wandering rock friends here. We see the wandering rock sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes not. Coleus and I observe this weird looking rock shard, at least two other caverns, which we've seen both of those caverns. What happened before Coleus disappeared? Coleus was standing on the largest one. I was taking notes that my lantern died. And then when they lit it, it was gone. But if we stand on it, we can turn the lantern off. But he's still here. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait. We're back here. Also, why is that person standing up? That's really creepy. I do not like that at all. I don't remember the body being like that. Look at their bodies moving! Oh, I hate it. I hate that it moves the skeletons. It's so creepy. It's like cue jump scare. Okay, this is, this looks a little bit different. Have I seen here? Have I been here before? Um, how can we make sure this rock? Oh, well, he'll come back. So we just stand on the, I think we, oh, he's gone. We've been here before, right? If you find any sign of Coleus, yeah, we've seen this. Uh, I need my rock friend to come back. Hmm. Have I been in this cave specifically? I don't know. Let's find out. Coleus is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave. The one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole several days ago. And we're unable to find any traces of him. We've seen this. This rock is very familiar. Did it travel here? Yeah, we've seen this. I don't think it necessarily shows us anywhere new though, right? This is more of those... Oh no. Okay, let's go back and step on the rock, I think. And go to that other cave. Also, I need to be careful because whenever they spawn, they can spawn on you. All right, let's do this. Then where are we now? Mm -hmm. I don't know where this is. <gasps> what is this? How curious, this is Coleus's writing. This rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or an exit. Also, the rock that brought me here has disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. I wonder if I myself become quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis, if the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out, which means we can get to the sixth location on the quantum moon. If the quantum moon is going to a sixth location, there's a sixth spot that it will take us to. But how do we know when to exit? And how do we know when and where it goes? Oh man. 
My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Mela Ray is here now too, and we theorize when a conscious, uh, when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness, the being can become entangled with the quantum object and they move together. Friends, Coleus has discovered a quantum rule. He has also promised me he'll never vanish again, even he, if he does learn something useful from it. Wow. Okay, well, there's no entrance or exit and our rock friend's back, so let's skedaddle. Um, we've been here, but there's an exit. This is Coleus's cave. We're looking for the quick exit cave, not this one. Oh, not this one. This is a dead end, too. Here, this one. This is our way back. I'm just not sure. I think I went up, I want to say. Yeah, I think I went up. Up and out. Yes. Wow. Holy cow. I wonder if that completed that as well. So that's what happened to Coleus. The more you know. Oh, we should go back and talk to all of them as well once we find out more information. Oh, let me do this. Should go tell them what we've learned. You'd be so happy. Let me go. I found some new information, Chert. Oh! Chert! I have a question for you. What are you up to? What's my question? I found something. I found your note on Elder Rocks. I found no my writing about a quantum moon. Oh yes, everybody loves a good mystery, don't they? Why, who wouldn't wonder about the moon that's sometimes there and sometimes not? I've observed the quantum moon orbiting each of the five planets, but sometimes it quite simply disappears from the sky altogether. Maybe there's another place it travels to. I've never seen it. Perhaps if we take a closer look at these star charts. Okay, so how would I know when I'm at the different location? <gasps> we need to go to, and I'm wondering, and I'm just simply wondering, and I'm not entirely sure, but hear me out. Where is the, um, this is where we observe the different spots it hangs at, right? On this planet. I want to test something, and I'm super excited. Is it here? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I want to test something. All right, let's fill up with oxygen first. Whee! <laughs> Um, this is so exciting. Wait, oh, hold on. Let me just make sure we got everything. Yes, Lake Bed Cave done. Another mystery solved. <laughs> a Nomai named Coleus was standing on a wandering rock when the Nomai lantern died. When they relit the lantern, Coleus and the rock were both gone. To travel with a quantum object, I must stand on the object and cease to observe my surroundings. Meaning I must be in complete darkness. Coleus used this quantum rule to escape the cave he was trapped in. Coleus and Mellor returned on the exam in the rock. They theorized that when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to observe his or her surroundings, that being can be entangled with the quantum object and they both move together. You know what this means, right? There is a way. The sixth location. Yes, there is a way. And I think, oh, there's still more in this endless city. So we do have to find that out. Ah! And the Ashwin project we have to do too, but this one is done. Sun station is checked. The dark bramble seed. Oh, don't worry, I haven't forgotten that we talked about this, and I we are gonna go to Bramble today because I think that's everything we figured out about the fossil. But now I'm stuck on the sixth location and I want to get it done and I'm excited. Okay, so my thought behind all of this, right? My thought is we go here. Whoops. Okay, so we're going to make the quantum moon spawn over here. I'm going to have my little guy stick here. All right, so we need him here. Now we need to find where where's the quantum moon? We need him to be in view of us. Okay, so look away. Now look back. Now he's moving. Where is he? He's out there too far away. Now we're going to go like this go over here we want him to be as close to us as possible he is by oceans 
He's by Oceans now. He's at Bramble. Move him back in. Now he's at the sixth location. That's why it's not tracking it. Now it's moving. And now he's back at Oceans Deep. Or, yeah. Now he is... Oh, now he's back at... Here. Wait. Where is he? He's there. I want him to move closer. There. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. I need to keep my eyes on it. Eyes on, eyes on. So in order to travel with it, we're going to need to completely lose observation of it. We have a picture on the screen. That moon should not go anywhere. Yep, it's not going anywhere. Um, so now we need to hop and land on it. And then I think what we do, and this is all just me testing things. This is so... He's gone. He's gone. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. All right, let me get my scout back. Oh my gosh. Wait, find it? All right, we're gonna launch him. Now we have him. We have him on screen. Okay, let's try to land, try to land, try to land, try to land, try to land. It shouldn't disappear because our scout has him on the image. Yep. All right, we've landed. Now. I, yeah, this is, um... How do we know when we're in the sixth location is we need to be in complete darkness. Which I think is this room. Is that what this did? Did this take us to complete darkness? So close this back up, which explains why you're able to close it back up. That turns light on. This should show us where we are. So I think we're by them. So if I turn this light out and we're in complete darkness and then I turn the light back on, has it moved? Yes, it is moved. It is moved. We can exit and we are in the sixth location. I believe. We should stay in this location. Recall the rule of entanglement. Yes, the quantum imaging and the rule of the sixth location, which means we are in the sixth location, I think. Because that's Bramble. That's Ocean's Deep. That is... Yep. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It should stay put. There's... There's... um. Hmm. Well. Uh, that is not a, so we're not in a quantum place though, I think. Let me try opening it again. I'm gonna try closing and opening again. No, it's still there. Huh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Let me try turning the light out. He hasn't moved. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're doing this, we're closing. Let me try something. Let me turn it down to complete darkness. He's moved. All right, we have moved with him. We are now on ocean steep. You can tell by the water movement. I wanna try something. I want to throw my, like, right there. All right, let me look at this building. Because if you recall right here, it's actually important. It says the quantum imaging and quantum entanglement. So that means we need to have an image on, oh, shoot. Shoot, okay. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, no, where am I? Oh, no, go back down, go back down, go back down, go back down. 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Where's the tower? Where is the tower gone? There he is. <laughs> Damn tower. Okay. Going back over here. No, 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 no. I'm going to mess it up. It's doing weird stuff. It's like, what am I doing? So this is what I want to do. I want to place that guy there. He's looking at us. Now we close this. I need to keep this up no matter what. Now we go down. Turn light out. Turn light on. He wouldn't move because of this. It wouldn't matter because of the rule of quantum imaging. Huh. Call the rule of the six location. Maybe I don't know the rule of the six location because we there's still another quantum tower that we haven't done yet. We're now at the sixth location again. Okay, I'm gonna close that. And I'm gonna see something. I don't, yeah, my scout's looking at it, so it's not gonna move. Also, the scout is providing a lot of light still. It doesn't matter where we are. <gasps> We're at Bramble. Actually, this works. This works well. So we know the rule of quantum imaging. We know the rule of quantum entanglement, but we don't actually really know the rule of the six location. And if I had to guess, remember on Brittle Hollow, there is that whole area that I haven't been able to access. Okay, things on this moon are different when we're near Bramble. This is scary. I don't even know where our ship is. Am I on Bramble? I think I'm on the planet itself. Something weird is happening, guys. Solanum, I'm here after watching it wander the skies for too long. No, this is the normal shuttle. This is the shuttle that's always on here. Yeah, I'm not on the planet itself. I just am in vicinity of it, which is why the whole, the moon becomes cold from Bramble. Wow. That, that's just disappearing and reappearing. The mysteries. I don't even see where the tower is, guys. I need to know where the tower is so I can get back home. If I can find the tower, then I can get us back to- there's the body. Okay, so everything on this planet still should be here, which means the tower- or on this moon. So the tower is here somewhere, it's just entangled in all of this mess. Wow. This is so fascinating. It's actually incredible. This is- this game is amazing. I'm not even sure if I'm going to find it. What was this big old thing? That must have been the tornado. Was that the or the um, cyclone? What happens if I go up and out? Right, I get completely wrecked because... That's okay, that's okay. Right, I'm gonna match velocity. And then I'm gonna try to... I'm holding, I'm holding. We're gonna try to bring it down. So I was, I was on Dark Bramble. Wait a minute. 
Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Well, welcome to Dark Bramble, y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's Dark Bramble for you. Yep. Okay, let's hightail it over there anyway, though. I do want to head over there. It's time we finally explore it. Like, with the ship, though. With the ship. <laughs> So there is something to be there with the quantum moon. I definitely have almost, I have a lot of the pieces, but we're missing, we're missing the brittle hollow quantum tower piece and the rule of the six. We've got two of the rules. <gasps> we just need one more rule. Whoa. Whoa. The rule of the six. Hmm. And also, we need to figure out how to do the ghost matter. Did it? I was going to say, I don't even think it counted that I did that. <laughs> Nothing rumored? No, no. Okay. Yeah, nice. Nice. To Dark Bramble we go. That felt a little... That felt very dark, considering everything. So we do need to go back to Brittle uh, probably today at some point as well because we're gonna wanna try to figure out that quantum, uh, oh, while we're doing this. What the hell am I encountering? It's gonna take me into the sun. I'm gonna be completely honest, I think it's gonna take me into the sun. Abort, 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 abort. Go down. I'm getting near the sun. Okay, that, that, that's fine. All right, we're doing autopilot on it. Going back over here, going to map mode. Rumor mode, that's what I want. Ashwin project. Uh, six location, Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The tower located on Brittle Hollow's equator held useful knowledge for the, yes. The Nomai named Solomon I told the, to visit the Tower of Quantum Knowledge to learn one final rule before embarking on the pilgrimage to the quantum moon, but. Wait a minute. Maybe what we need to do to get to this... Um, maybe... Maybe we need to... Wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've, I think I know. Okay, I think... Okay. Hold on. I think I figured out some things. In my head, when we're on the quantum moon and we go near a planet, you end up like, like it got frozen, right? We've never seen what happens when it goes near Brittle Hollow. So let's explore it from, let's go to the dark moon after this. We are gonna explore this real quick, finally. But after this, let's get back on the quantum moon, watch it go lights out and transform with it to Brittle Hollow and we might be able to access the Tower of Quantum. Possibly, just possibly. Yeah, this is really, oh, there's an angler fish. You can see it. Yeah, so you don't want to go inside of that, really. Very interesting. Hmm. But we know that it is blind. So. First things first, we're gonna land right here. That was not the, my best landing. Whoa, is this icy? This is ice, isn't it? Let me repair this so we can get to make a quick, easy exit. Let's go here. Very nice. Okay. Dark brown. It's actually, it looks a lot smaller than it is. Wow. This is way more vast than I was thinking. This is massive. Take it slow. I'm gonna get eaten by an angler, aren't I? Take it slow, take it slow. We're looking for a distress beacon as well. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. All right, let's go ahead and equip that signal scope. Unknown, down in the middle. All right, we've got one of our friends down there. 
other aspects of it. We've got quantum fluctuations. Distress beacon. There should be a distress beacon here, right? Yes. There's two and they're both inside. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All right, let's put this away. Let's go find the entrance. I need to preserve my fuel. Here we go. Oh. Mmm. Remember, they're blind. That's a lot of anglers. That's a lot of anglers. Let's go down here. Try to bring it down so we're walking here. But then does that mean they can hear? Wouldn't they have like excellent hearing? No. Our fuel. There's almost like a nest in there. I know, 50% fuel. Not even quite sure what we're looking at here. Distress beacon. What are we even looking at? The center? We have to get to the center. I don't even know how I'm gonna get there. Hopefully this works. This is like the nest. This is like a weird nest. What in the world? Uh, this is a suicide mission, by the way, guys. I will be dying at the end of this. Why is it going red? Why does it say it's disappeared now? Where's our friend's frequency? What? I know my fuel level is critical. I'm gonna die. I think the angler... This is horrifying. I need to get to that red beacon. Get to the red beacon, my fuel. It's gonna pull for my oxygen. I'm gonna die. Ow. There, there. I know I'm using my oxygen, I'm gonna die. Wait, but we're back here. There's an angler. Ooh! Okay, so we need to find the red light. And we need a lot of fuel. Oh, at least we didn't get eaten by an angler. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. I need to go get a jacket. It's cold in here. Um, ooh. Okay. I need to think about what we're doing next. I gotta run to the bathroom again. Oh my goodness. That was so <gasps> scary. Oh, all right. Let me just pause for a second. I've got to figure out what our next steps are after observing all of our information. I'll be right back. All right, we are back. I got a sweatshirt. <laughs> uh, what were we doing? The quantum moon. So my idea is we land on the quantum moon and we take the quantum tower's moon to Brittle Hollow so that we can discover that one thing. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge. But at the same time, that's not how we found any of the six rules. I mean, we have had to do something different to make it there. The rule of the sixth moon. 
we know where that goes. Well, we kind of roughly know where it goes. We're really getting down to the, the final things. Ghost matter being one of them. Maybe we should just go to Brittle Hollow again. I don't know if my quantum idea is silly. But it would make sense that in order to find the final clue, you need to know the other two clues. Wait, I gotta get up out of here. Hold on. I gotta make sure I don't smack into that. I don't know. Let's try to get back in there. Maybe there's something new that I've learned. I, I There's also more in that area that I haven't fully explored. I'm trying to see. What does it say for Brittle Hollow specifically? Oops, timber arm. Just this is orange. Just this. So just that location, but it says a nomai named Solanon was told to visit the Tower of Quantum Knowledge to learn one final rule before embarking on it. Maybe there's something in his specific location or in his escape pod that's going to help us be able to land on this or figure out the Quantum Tower. When was the last time I've actually had a smooth landing, guys? All right, so in order to find this, woo -hoo -hoo, we are going to want to get in at the fastest route possible. It has been a while since we have explored. It's been actually quite some time since we have found our way in here. And actually, I am going to... No, don't get stuck in the tree. Don't get stuck in the tree. <laughs> I'm actually going to land. Oh. 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 Oh, snap. This is all happening from trying to go too fast. All right. I'm going to land right here. We're landing right here. This is a horrible landing spot. Probably. Okay. That'll do. No, this isn't so bad. Perfect. Call the shuttle home. Let's call the shuttle home and just double check. Because Solanum, Solanum is part of this. So the shuttle's back home. Hmm. This is the crossroads. The crossroads. And the crossroads normally the crossroads are normally gone by now. I think they're normally broken off. But I have discovered all of them. I think so. Do not fall. Let's just double check we got everything from Solanum. Hmm. I'm here after watching and wandering for skies. I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make a reminder. The remainder of it on foot. Because it's the south pole. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. No. So we need the rule of the sixth. Quantum. Southern Observatory. I must need to go to the crossroads. Oh, it's gonna break off. Hmm. We need to be quick with it. I don't even know if this is the right way. Is this the right way? Okay, guys, I think we're breaking off. Oh, we're breaking off. I think? I don't know. No, I think this is the right path. Yeah, I think this is the right way to get there. It's been so long since we've done Brittle. What is that? Actually, I don't recognize that. I don't honestly recognize any of this. Okay, let's try doing down. 
Hmm. It's been so... <gasps> yes, we're in the right spot. Our dear companion, I hear him. Okay, so the quantum tower should be just beyond. Yes. But let's just pop down, get some... Uh, replenish our stats and everything. Dun, 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 dun. That was actually really risky. I shouldn't have done that. Here should be the quantum tower. Yes. Sir, can I get some uh, oxygen? Some fuel? Let's see if we can talk to him about anything else. Oh, he completely stopped. Can I ask you something? No. Oh, I've learned something. I saw that. I saw this on the city, the hanging city, the old settlement. I found it on... I found the escape pod. No, I think we've told him all of these. Okay, bye. See you later. Get back to your beautiful music, sir. So now we need to turn this on. Let's head over to the tower. All right, we go right side. This is the awkward part I remember. Yeah. The out... So no, we've seen that before. So there is something to be learned here that I still can't see. And it's up there. Do you think... Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. <gasps> Wait! I have an idea. I have an idea. The traveling shard on the outside might just possibly travel inside. So maybe we needed to know the rule about... Just maybe. Oh, but there's no way for you to go lights out, right? Snap. Is there a rock in here? I don't know. Southern Observatory. Mmm. More stuff right there. You know, this looks a lot like where... This just feels exactly like where we are. Surface integrity is 60%. That's gotta be important. Right? Or that's just because I had him. Okay, I want to test something out. But I don't know if I can lights out with him. Because there's so... Like, see the lights are so bright? There's no way for me to travel with him. Can I move this stuff? And you have this whole thing. Is the object in the grove are behaving in a similar quantum manner? The only object we've observed is the wandering moon, right? But I can't get rid of... Like, he'll wander. But not with me on him. That's the only downside. I'd have to be able to turn out the lights on him. Surface integrity, 60%. I just don't get it. That was horrifying. Hmm. That guy's gonna move whenever I move. This feels too... Okay, he only moves around here, so it's not like he's gonna go down below, so that's not it either. How do we get in there? How? We can't use the platforms. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Descend the steps to get there. Wow, the surface integrity in there is super bad. All right, we descend the steps. I, I'm not even quite sure I see an entrance period, but... Hmm.
Wait a minute. Is it possible that if he's looking at them, the platform stays put together? No, the platform's not moving, right? I mean, the platform's not moving. We need to get down to the bottom. Take me up to the spear. That's all I can think of with this game. Just be <laughs> all right, so we're down here. That didn't do anything. That did not do anything. If you're making your first pilgrimage, ascend these stairs and obtain the last knowledge you need for your journey. Ascend these stairs. It must be these ones specifically. How would we? Then we fall. The surface integrity, I think, is actually dropping. I want to say it's dropping as we go. The last bits of knowledge are in there, guys. What am I going to do? There's something we're missing here. I feel like it has to deal with the quantum moon itself. All right, let's push back up. What could it possibly be? How could I move uh, using everything I have? I have the scout launcher that would be able to look at it, but nothing's moving. It's not like I have to... That's not pieced together or anything. That's a scroll. I don't think there's necessarily anything I can actually see that would help me in this matter. And then I'm also still confused about this, but I think this is just heading towards another location. Let me just double check. But I'm pretty sure this is just telling us this route to the Southern Observatory, yeah. So that's not even important. Quantum knowledge. Drop some knowledge. Okay. What about one of these? Like, maybe there's an inn? Maybe, just maybe. Maybe it's one of these that will take us there. Right there? Maybe we could get in from there? Oh, no. These are not what we think they're. But I'm going to keep descending this way. Nope, that's a dead end. And then that's really a dead end. Mm. This is not happening. We go back down here. I think there's one more. I don't think this is it. This doesn't feel right. Yeah, this doesn't feel right. But I'm going to do this real quick. Oh. Oh. Wow, okay. Whew. We made it out. We're still alive. Okay, well. Are you able to get here? No, not from when we flip. I was thinking when we flip... Send these stairs. Okay, let's try my quantum. Let's try the quantum thought and idea. That's pretty much the only thing I can think of right now. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the grove up here and land on the moon and see if that's gonna give us entrance into here. Otherwise, I know I was talking, I was joking about this earlier, but I might have to look it up. I feel like it's gonna be something so simple. Ooh. Unless you just wait for the sur- Trees detected. Unless you just wait for the surface integrity to completely collapse. Food for thought. Surface integrity is nine. I kind of want to wait it out. I kind of want to see. Um, Like right here. What's the surface integrity here? It's all nine. 
That's 9% across the board. 9%. I say we just wait it out. <laughs> I mean, we're running out of fuel, but... I don't know at what rate it's dropping, though. That's, like, the only thing. Like, it's been... I think it's been 12 and 9% for a while. Hmm... That is a fireball coming in, so I'm gonna get up here real quick. Let's see. Felix mentions a strange rock type somewhere else. Yeah. Unique signals coming from the shard. Curiously, my friend Wandering the Moon has it. Quantum shard is from the Wandering Moon. We've seen all this. We've also seen the same signal on Giant's Deep, Timber Hollow. We've seen, seen. Are any of the other ones, like. <sighs> Would we be able to quantum jump with any of the other ones? 5%. Okay, this is good. I think this is good. So let's just wait for us to hit that 9% and then see if we can just jump into it. Something is landing. Guys, why is my ship over there? Oh, I think I landed it on a piece that might have... Yeah, left. Oh... Rightio. 5% still. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've never actually seen what happens when the surface integrity drops. It, oh, 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 I have a thought. Do you think that means that's when the star is about to drop? I'm just trying to figure everything out now. Because the entire surface integrity everywhere. It's not just that spot. It's the entire... Oh. Oh, what? Surface integrity? That's what that means. I see. Right, right. Gotcha. I'm gonna try going back into this. Do we just die? You can't. You can't. Look at that. What are we even seeing? What even is that symbol? Okay, this is so interesting. That's that quantum part. Bet your bottom dollar I'm about to land on this. I'm wondering if this is how I find the quantum knowledge. You wait until the surface drops, and then you discover it out here. Where's the other piece? My fuel's going. There. I am so... Wait, is that where my buddy is? That's where my buddy was. Look for the quantum. Yeah, that's not ideal. Mmm. Yeah, not good. But this is an idea. I mean, it's not a good idea. But just searching amongst the ruins? More pieces coming out? It would just be really hard out here. You would need your ship and then I'm using oxygen. Uh, it's just a bit difficult to see where it went. That might be it. I'm using all my oxygen to figure this out. That's something different. That's the White Hole Station. That's White Hole Station. Um, that cannot be what they mean for you to do, though. Wait for it to fly out or wait for the chunks to be out and then go to it? That'd just be pretty strange, but I've heard stranger things. We could test that. We could test for when it comes out of the white hole and scour the pieces. I like that. I like that. Okay, I want to test that. But I don't want to waste y'all's time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ship, wait by the white hole for that to come out. And then I'll start recording and show you guys. Okay? All right. Uh, we're going to test this. Testing, testing.
Bye. Guys, I think I was right. Look at this. Look at this. All right, so we're going to match velocity with it. I'm not going to worry too, too much about our ship or anything. So we're going to match that velocity, and then we're going to buckle up, Buttercup, and get out there. Let's do this. It was so much simpler than I made it out to be. Ah! Wait, hold on. Ooh. Okay. Use this to ground us whenever we can, and then use it to jump and rest. All right, so we definitely have some things to read on this platform and also down there. So we're going to start by going up here and just looking at what we got. So we have some scrolls. We've got those. I don't know what that will really tell us. We need to place a scroll there. This is exciting. Welcome, Solanan. Your arrival means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep, and you are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before, to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine your clan built on the Quantum Moon. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the Moon's North Pole. <gasps> Be curious on your journey. There we go. That's it. It's time to discover the quantum moon. Okay, so we should have a script down here. So we're going to pop down here. I doubt we have that much time before. I had to wait quite some time, guys. I think like 10 minutes in real time um, to have it come through. So we need to act quick before our day gets reset. But wow, 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 wow. Okay, let's place this. Okay. Oh. If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, you are almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. Oh. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash, that brought them to the star system became stranded on Brittle Hollow and Ember Twin, with no communication between the two groups of survivors. And they just happened to be working, wow. Became stranded on Brittle Hollow and Ember Twin. These Nomai looked upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the quantum moon, that kept their curiosity alive during a long period of hardship. That is so true. After the two divided groups were able to finally reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find a way to visit the quantum moon. This took time, and many Nomai who dreamed of seeing the quantum moon died before we discovered how to make this journey. When you reach the quantum moon, recall these Nomai and carry their curiosity onward with you. That is so beautiful as well and very true. I didn't even think about it, but yeah, everybody could see the quantum moon from wherever they were after the distress, the distress beacon. That's incredible. That's so good. I think another part that I really have enjoyed about this is even just that sixth rule. Like, all of it seems simplistic in its design, but... Okay, wait, 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 no! Oh, no! It seems simplistic in its design, but really... oh. that everything has a meaning. I mean, the whole time they were talking about how it it's South Pole focused, like every time you would arrive on the quantum moon, wherever you are, you arrive from the South Pole, except for the sixth location. For whatever reason, it needs the North Pole. So these are two of the brittles. So these are the brittle locations that we need to place. Hmm. I think what I'm going to have to do, guys, I think you can place all of them where they need to be, but I think you have to do it all in one day. So I'm going to have to write down, I'm going to have to map and write down where every single spot needs to go, because those are where two of the Brittle Hollows are. Yeah. All right, so we need to find that ship, and let's go to the Quantum Moon, but there is a good chance that... Ah! 
Hold on. There's a really good chance that the day's about to reset. So I don't know if I should just go ahead and reset. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> It's crazy to me. I never thought that that was what was happening. I mean, I I figured it was a star exploding, but I never thought it was the sun, the sun exploding. Uh, all right. This means also what is happening be beside it? Oh, it's just what it's hitting everything. All right, here it comes. <laughs> Flashbang out. I think we should. Go back to the quantum moon, see the sixth location, and then I think that's where we're gonna stop this video. We probably won't get as much done in this video, but the next one, I'm just gonna do one long video that I think might cover the remaining things. I don't know, Bramble. We could do one more trip back to Bramble. We'll do one more trip. We'll try to get one more trip, even if we die by anglerfish. So let's go quantum moon first, then Bramble. And then we'll see what happens then. See what we have left. to the moon i never would have thought about it so i was it's kind of cool because i think i was starting to i was starting to think that we needed not to be on you have to be, wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute you need it to spawn on the north pole so we always land you always land on the south pole no matter what but what we're gonna need to do is move it. I, honestly, I like when it's by Giant's Deep. I think we've seen the most amount of movement uh, whenever it's by Giant's Deep. Battle Rock. Uh, please tell me it's by Giant's Deep. Mm. Is that Adel Rock? Or is that the Dark Moon? I guess we've never seen it by Timber Hollow. I mean, it probably doesn't matter all that much. Actually, I think it does. I don't want it there. I don't want it there. I want to find out. I'm just most familiar, I think, with... I'm most familiar with... There. It's there now. Yeah, I just prefer when it's by Giant Steve. I, I think because it has the water and the only thing that you have to... Oh, unless... Oh, maybe one of the... Only one of them can maybe get it to spawn on the North Pole. I didn't actually think about that. I never actually thought about that. Okay, let me go ahead and match velocity. That moon's about to disappear because it came out of, yeah. Love it. No, it's still there. That's weird. Okay. We're going to go ahead and engage autopilot on it and bring us in. We're actually quite literally going away from it. All right, so we just need the tower to spawn on the north side and then we can do all the things. I should have thought about that too because if you were blocked off, ah. Uh, the game, it's, there's like, swoo, not good, 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 not good. Right. Okay. I mean, it's still gonna be there because I had eyes on it, right? Yeah, we had eyes on, still. The autopilot's funny to me that I can just take you straight there. All right, we're matching velocity. Oh, come on, don't know. Stay out, stay out, stay out. He's so close to it. All right, matched velocity. And now we just dip down into it. Perfect. All right, with that, we are officially here. Let's do this. Oh, that seems somehow disrespectful. Sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, we are on the South Pole. So we need to get to the North Pole. And then we just need to keep looking until the tower comes into sight at the... Oh, snap. Sh shoot. I need to get back to my ship. But now my ship will spawn... Wait, did we lose our ship once you... That's the one thing that won't move. Okay, the tower is not dead center on...
I'm gonna have to go up and over like this, and then I'm gonna lose it. Shoot. Shoot! And now I'm just stranded. Fiddlesticks. Okay. Ugh! It's, it's so easy to lose it in that moment. All right, let me start back over. We need to stay in the ship, but it's hard for me to see. If we always land at the South Pole, then we just have to go north. So that's easy enough. That, uh, if I had to guess, there might be only one planet where it can possibly land on the North Pole. Like the tower can spawn on the North Pole. I wouldn't put it past it. So we might just need to start getting experimental. A little experimental. We will still start. I'm still going to start with... Still going to start with this guy. I, would it be easier to just do it by Timber Hollow? Because Timber Hollow, like, we know, like, the back of our hand. Timber Hearth. Getting my hollows, my hearths. Moon, where are you? Here we go. Gauge autopilot on him. Go ahead and launch. We're gonna back. Perfect. Uh, retro rockets? All right, matching velocity. We're going in. Ooh. Okay, process of elimination. So, we always spawn on the south, so we're going due north. So this is on the North Pole. So what we're gonna, ow. Tower? Jeez. I need to exit the ship first. Snap. Crap. Okay. Let's repair first. Mmm. Mmm. Ugh. Just keep jumping. Repair hole. Alright, hole is repaired. I need to get the quantum tower to spawn exactly on it, so I need to go up and over, but I need... The only downside to this is there is... I... Mmm. I don't think it's possible for me to go up and into it without... Let me launch. Hold on, let me do this. Can I spot it from... Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that and see if it works. But it probably won't. I don't think it's gonna be possible to go up and over this. Ugh. Up and then down. Did we land in it? No. No. Oh. I know multiple parts of my ship. I know. If I exit here, and I see where we are on it, or we're still at the South Pole, we spawned back at the South Pole. Does it have to be dead center on the North Pole? I'm wondering. I guess I should repair my ship. Yeah, I'm wondering if it has to be absolutely dead center, or if it be, can be kind of. There's another part that I need to repair, but oh, there it is. Starboard hole. I'm thinking back. <laughs> I'm thinking back to when I completely lost one of my sides. Uh, all right. Refuel. Here we go. So we're just going north. And we know that this thing is north. But if I go up and out, I'm going to lose my positioning on it. So I'm going to try to... Very creepy. Let's retrieve the scout. Oh, take him back. Launch him? Nope. 
Okay, I technically have it. So let's go up. And back down, back down, back down, back down. Nope, I went back to the South Pole. Look at that. The North Pole is covered here. Yeah, there's no way for us to make it to the North Pole. I'm gonna try to get this thing as close to the North Pole as possible and then see if that counts, but it probably won't. If I had to guess, it's probably not going to. Wow. What the? Okay, this would technically be as close to the North Pole as we could possibly get it, but there's no way that's enough. I'm still just gonna try because I'm clinging to anything at this moment. All right, we close it back up. Wait, aren't I gonna lose my ship in this? Oh no, I might lose my ship in this. All right, we're on Brittle Hollow. Okay, we're on the six. Nope, no luck. Snap. Is it even possible to get one of them to be there? Like right here, we're on Brittle Hollow, right? Let's see if it's even possible. Brittle Hollow, it might be. Oh, it might be possible with Brittle Hollow. Yeah. Mm, I can't go up there, can I? No, I can't. Because if I go up here, I go into space, correct? I just got sent back. Okay, wait, 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 this is technically it. This is technically the North Pole. So, let me just keep looking elsewhere until it spawns here. If it spawns here. Maybe it can. We're here. We're here, but it isn't. What? Oh, <gasps> here we go. <gasps> Look. Wait, that's always there. Ignore me. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> All right. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is uh, a different location. Like, I feel like it's bigger in here than it normally is. Okay. Quantum imaging. Roll of entanglement and sixth location. And we push them all together. We used quantum imaging to get here. Then we used the rule of being able to travel with it in complete darkness. And now with the rule of the six, we've taken it to the North Pole. And come on, baby. All right. There was once a time where I would have loved to be going to Brittle Hollow. The time has passed. Or Giant's Deep. I can't believe it worked by starting at... Oh my goodness. Okay, this is different. This is not it. Come on. <laughs> I don't know if there's an actual way to specifically make it there, but... Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. We've done it. My fuel and oxygen levels are pretty damn good. Wow. The sixth location. You guys. The sixth location. <gasps> okay, it's gone. Do you think this is how we'll find out about ghost matter? Could this possibly be where all of the answers lie? Somehow it looks kind of like ghost matter, right? I want eyes on over there. I want to make sure that sucker stays there. Keeping him up. Wow. Okay. So far, a lot of nothingness, but this is definitely where all those shards come from. All right, I, I want my screen back. <gasps> What's over there? This is definitely where all the shards come from. 
Do we have any outer wild frequencies here? Oh, of course, the quantum moon. I met, I'm, wait a minute. It's showing that the quantum moon is close or I'm on the quantum moon. I'm, it's recognizing I'm in, I'm all around. I'm in the core. I must be in the core guys. I must be in the core of the quantum moon. Of course. Guys, that Nomai is alive. That Nomai is alive. This is, this can't be real. Solanum? There's a Nomai still alive? Who are you? That, that. Solanum! Um. Uh. Explain stone. Oh, explain stones. Okay, okay. Um. Um. Holy cow. Uh, okay. Um. Uh, <laughs> All right. Quantum moon pickup. Okay, so quantum moon. Okay. Already holding quantum moon. Um. Pick up that. Pick up this one. Put this one here. And remove explain stone. Identify stone. Um. Right, right. No, no, no. Fair enough. Insert me stone. Okay, so me from. Okay. Uh, let me place all the stones on the ground. Okay, so this is identify. That there. That has to go there. I think that fits in that place perfectly. Okay, so just take out everything and then he'll explain whatever's on the board. Okay. That. Identify me. That's a me stone. It's a me stone. Can it go here? No. I think it kind of needs to stay in its spot. Identify. Um... Me. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, you know, my translating tools are not, um... How can I do this? Quantum. Do we just need to place them where they go? I mean, that doesn't really make sense, does it? That's the me stone. The eye of the universe. Am I missing one? Oh, no, there it is. Identify. Maybe I need to scan them? Right. Yeah, no, 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 I'm tracking Solanum. Um, stay there, buddy. Trying to figure out where we are, what we're doing, how I can even get us out of this predicament. Uh, okay. Hmm. I can't place them on the backside. Surely one of these has to work. What am I? Okay, so maybe I identify me. Do I only have the ones up that I need to have? Identify stone, explain stone, remove me stone, quantum moon, eye of the universe stone, and you stone. Explain. Oh, he's doing something. Explain. <gasps> you clever boy. Okay, so explain. Explain you. Oh my gosh. Oh, stop. I am on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All know my and my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us, as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I've journeyed here to be close to the eye. While the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. Okay. Q. 
keep uh we'll keep explanation happening hold on let's have him explain the eye of the universe <laughs> this is so cool there is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect, as I imagine I've seen elsewhere in this star system. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Y'all, I'm wondering if I can lead him back home with me. I wonder if he can come with me. Okay, so I of the universe is explained. Now explain the quantum moon. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon surface does now. Wall at the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer that the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum. Thus, the eye is likely also quantum. Which means it would be moving, no? Or you can never... Like, it, it's constantly moving, which is why every time they got close, it probably moved again, right? In fact, this moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum, in the same way that the areas surrounding quantum shards that landed on other planets eventually become quantum too, over time. Fascinating, Solanum. All right, Ex uh, explain me. My headphones. I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did. Okay, it's time for me to explain to him. Okay, buddy, stay there. I'm gonna um, identify. Identify you. I am Solanum, a Nomai. My clan arrived in this star system before my birth, and we now call it home. Fascinating. Okay. I love him. I love him. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it to dwell that it believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around the star system. Okay, the quantum moon, sir. This is the quantum moon, where we are both standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. He's like, what do you mean? I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. <laughs> there are many questions I would ask. If I could comprehend your language, you will have my gratitude for understanding mine. Oh, that's really sweet. Um, okay, so let me try. What happens if I just put two different things together? Okay, this is you and me. We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you don't mind if I think of you as a friend. Oh. All right, so we're going to leave that. Uh, this is asking him about quantum moon and you. Okay, I need to put this up real quick. Hold on. I gotta like wrap this around somewhere so it's not falling like it normally is. This is such an important part. Like my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not, that may, I may not be entirely alive. 
Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Wait, that is a good point. We've seen his body. He isn't fully... Wait a minute. He isn't alive. We've seen his body. I... Yeah. Oh. Many in my clan believe that the eye is called to us for a particular reason. When I was a child, I used to believe that the eye was malevolent. To have lured my clan to the star system only to vanish from them completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it has become my fondest hope to see the eye itself. And someday. But I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has ended. Okay, we've seen that before. Alright, so place is back. So I think we're done with you, Stone. So now we're going to test out. We're just kind of slowly going down. So now we're doing I and Quantum Moon. A lot of them might have repeat things too, but I'm just trying every possible connection. I imagine you've noticed changes in appearance depending on the location is currently orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting Giant's Deep than it does when orbiting the Hourglass Twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes its different forms, the eye being the moon's primary location must be similar, similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes looked to one specific version of itself when it consistently is observed. But what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? Okay, so we've kind of seen that before. Placing this back here. The eye in me, which he probably won't have anything to say to that. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try and enter it? What do you imagine the effects of the conscious observer might be? Death? Um, or something? Okay, I'm going to leave that there. We're going to put this guy back here. And the only other one that we don't know the connection to would be these two together. Which is me and the quantum moon. Is this your first time on quantum moon? It's my first time here. If you've come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. Poor guy. How long has he been here for? Okay, so now let's just put identify and himself, I think. Identify and explain at the same time. Nothing should happen. Oh. These are the two tenets and know my philosophy. To seek and to understand is our way of living. Okay, buddy. Well, I'm going to go now. Uh, yeah, we definitely uncovered a lot there. But I still don't know. I want to bring him back with us, but I just don't think I can. I don't think we can. Oh. Do I try? Do I try to go up there? I mean, at this point, I mean, it's probably, oh my gosh. Timber Hearth? Is that Solum's body? Solanum's? Hold on, this isn't right. This isn't right. Yeah, sure, I'm in Timber Hearth, but... This isn't right. This is, um... This is the Quantum Moon's Timber Hearth. Wow. All right, we need to get back to our ship. <gasps> it's gone. Bring it back. Okay. Um, there's one last thing I want to do is we have not come out of this on the twins, so I do want to see what happens when we go to the twins. Uh, if it will take us there, I think we're going to be going into deep first. What a learning lesson. I mean, I think that's probably going to be all for... Wait a minute. Nope, not Bramble. Okay, we're back on the sixth location. I guess we can probably go see Solanum whenever. We might be on it now. Riddle. We're back on the unknown. I just need to be somewhere, anywhere. 
My ship's not here, though, anymore. My ship's gone. Therefore... Oh, come on. I wish there was a way to know... Okay, this is timber. Yes, timber. Does it just go in order? Did I never realize that? No, because now it's back at Brittle. Is it random? Oh my gosh. Take me to the twins! We're back at the sixth location. Surely there is something that determines how you do this. We're back at Brittle. We're back at Deep. We're back at the six. <laughs> I really don't want this to be a wasted opportunity though. This might, nope, this is brittle. I've only ever seen it go to the twins like once. I'm not quite sure what does it. Right. I'm done with you. Oh my. <sighs> Might as well see what this is all about. What is this all about? That's one of the, what the heck? Wait a minute guys, that's one of the jellies. From the electric. Oh, the day's about to reset anyway. Get inside! Here we go! Alright, let's hop into that ship, kind of see what we've uncovered, you guys, and then I think what we'll end up doing. Wait, what happens if we find this and go back? Can I outrun it? Outrun it! Avoid it! Avoid destruction! Solanum. Disappear! Take me away! Ah! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hop back on the ship, see how that connects the other pieces of information we have, and then that's probably where we're gonna call it a day for this. But I do think all things Bramble and Ghost Matter will be next session. Next session. I... I... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about the ghost matter. The ghost matter and the electricity are still two things I don't quite comprehend yet, but I'd be willing to go back to the deep to try to find out. Like maybe it's another kind of timing thing. I'm thinking it could be a timing thing. I don't know. It's so, there's, there's so much to this game and I'm also trying to make sure that I'm not just playing for the surface level stuff like I'm, I really want to see the depth there because I don't think there's a single accident with what the creators have done here there we go mm, mm, mm. that would be the Nomai built a shrine on quantum moon to aid the pilgrimage to its sixth location remember this final rule to explore the sixth location the shrine must be on the moon's north pole the pilgrimage to the quantum moon was deeply significant journey for the Nomai after the two groups of the Nomai stranded on Ember Twin and Brittle Hollow were reunited, it became their common goal to find and visit the Quantum Moon. I met a living Nomai named Solanum at the South Pole. The Quantum Moon is the eye of the universe. Yes, the Quantum Moon is the eye of the universe's moon. At this location, the Quantum Moon becomes a reflection of the eye itself. The eye is likely the source of all macroscopic quantum phenomena in our solar system. Solanum wonders what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye. Solanum has a hypothesis that she may not be entirely alive. All right, so, Solanum, Solanum. The ruptured core. So we are missing the probe tracking module, launch module, Ash Twin Project, 
Sunless City. Escape pods. That's all Bramble stuff. There is still something in Sunless City. Oh, man. So much still to learn. There is still so much to learn. But Quantum Moon is completely done. Yeah, Quantum Moon. So we actually did get a lot done today. We got Sun Station, Quantum Moon. We got the fossil, the anglerfish fossil. We do need to finish the Sunless City. So I think when we start next time, we're going to just clean up and tie a nice pretty bow around the, around the rest of the Sunless City. And then we need to figure out the Ash Twin Project. I, I don't know what else there is to discover on that planet, but I guess I'll kind of mess around until we find it. Otherwise, Dark Bramble Seed. I still got to figure out what's going on there. I'm going to have to get to the center. I do think we'll actually, we will start by going to Dark Bramble. Even though I'm probably going to die multiple times entering into it, we are going to do it. We are going to do it because I said we were going to today and then I didn't end up getting to it because we got a lot of other things done. As far as rumors go, though, we're actually doing really well. We did complete up everything with the Quantum Moon. As of right now, that doesn't mean that there can't be new markers that pop up. But we've got officially four question marks left and then a couple explore mores. And this one will be checked off tomorrow. And then Ghost Matter. It's really just figuring out Ghost Matter, Ash Twin Project, and the canon. And then I think we'll have all the pieces and we'll have to figure out from there. Oh, this game is going to haunt me. I know it is. I'm going to be thinking about this for months after we're done playing it, you guys. And I'm not even going to be able to relay all my thoughts or feelings about it. I already know. Okay. For now, though, my brain is fried. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye, YouTube. so much done that episode. I'm so happy.